Okay, here we're going to show the three ways you can set up your chlorinator to run automatically. So here I am on the chlorinator page. If you go over here and click on Info tab, you'll see the three different options. Option one is to wire in your chlorinator pump to turn on and off with your well pump. And the way this is done is you install a dedicated wall outlet receptacle so that it gets energy or turns on when the pressure switch points close to turn on the well pump. Uh, this is pretty easy to do. We've got wiring diagrams for it. And this is the lowest cost way to do it because you're just wiring it to turn on and off directly with your pressure switch. Uh, and so it's the most popular. Uh, it does require a little bit of wiring. You have to, so if you're not comfortable with wiring uh, or you don't want to hire an electrician, then you could use the next option, which is a pre-wired flow switch. Pre-wired flow switch works, and it, it's, it's a device that installs right on the pipe, and whenever there's flow through it, it'll, it sends the energy and turns the chlorinator pump on. And so the pre-wired flow switch, being pre-wired, comes with its own cord that you just plug into any wall outlet, and then, and then you plug the chlorinator pump into that. So that makes it very easy. Any plumber could install this, or anybody can install it that knows basic plumbing. And the third option is to get a proportional type system. And this ha involves having a, uh, a proportional chlorinator pump, which, which we have, and a flow sensor, which looks like a water meter with a cable coming out of it. And you just merely connect the cable to the chlorinator pump, and you plug your chlorinator pump into the wall. And then whenever there's flow, it will turn on the chlorinator pump, and it'll run faster or slower based on how fast the water is running. So this has the added advantage of uh, doesn't require wiring again, but it also can be installed after the pressure tank. So for instance, this may be in a remote location or maybe on a community well, or you're sharing your well with others and you don't want to chlorinate all the water, or you want to chlorinate water just for the garden, or you don't want to chlorinate water for the garden. There's lots of different options, but basically, you, you, you can, it allows you to have your injection point after the pressure tank. Whereas with the other two methods, you need to have the chlorine, chlorine injection point before the pressure tank. So those are the three methods. If you have any questions, just give us a call or email us at support at cleanwaterstore.com.